How tired I am of all this already. How tired I am of swimming to another island every time. But now I will build a bridge so that I can safely cross there, so that nothing swims every time. So, now it'll be easier and faster to go fishing. That's exactly what I needed for a happy life, that's for sure. I hope that this bridge will serve me faithfully. I don't know how this is related to the bridge, but I think you understand. I would also call Mikey to help, but I know what he will start doing. So I'd better handle it myself, because he will only bother me, and I don't need it. I want to make a bridge first of all for myself. I'll also have lighting on the bridge so even monsters won't appear here at night, do you understand? So, but that's not all. Let me finish this bridge when I finish it, and you tell me if you like it or not, okay? But I think that you can't help but like my bridge, just look at it. You won't find that anywhere else, okay? I don't know yet. Maybe I'll make some kind of pier later, but we don't even have boats, so I'll figure something out. JJ, come here, you haven't seen this yet and how could you miss it? I don't know what to call it at all. Is it some kind of huge ship or is it a yacht? I hope you know what it is. I am very scared. I do not know what to do. Oh my God, Mikey. I don't like it at all. I think he's clearly not sailing here with good intentions, right? So we have to get ready for this. Let's do something quickly before it's too late. Mikey, where did you get this? It doesn't matter now. We have to make our home safe. So let's get to work faster and don't get distracted. I hope you know what to do because we don't seem to have any time left. You won't let me down, will you? I'll try, but you don't stand idle. Otherwise, we won't have any chance at all to survive, do you understand? Come on, Mikey. We have to make our house an impregnable fortress in a short time, do you understand? I get it. So let's work as fast as possible because I don't want to die. Do you understand this or not? JJ, I'm really scared and I don't know if I can handle it or not, so come on. Help me before it's too late. Mikey, look what's here. So let's digress a little. It seems to me that this is something obviously interesting, guys. Like and subscribe to the channel because it's very important to us. Do you understand me or not? And don't forget to leave your comments because this is very important to us. I hope that you will do it. Anyway, don't forget that we have a danger here and we have to do something and as soon as possible. Mikey, let's get out of here faster. It seems that we won't be able to stop him already. Do you understand it? Let's go home. We can hide there and don't even think about it. You can't do anything like that. JJ, you better not piss me off because I don't know what to do anyway. I hope that you will succeed. Okay, we're in the house. But what are we going to do here? Do you think it's safer here than outside? Are you serious? I don't know, but nothing seems to be happening. So let's go and see what's going on outside, okay? But let's just be careful because it's dangerous. And I do not know if we can do it. Do you understand? JJ, you're not thinking about the same thing, are you? Do you think he came here to do something bad to us or not? Because I don't understand anything at all about what it is and why he sailed here. I have only one hope. It's only on you, and you have to come up with something. Mikey, I do not know what to do. Just look at him how scary he is. Have you ever seen this or not? Because I don't like it at all now. I don't even know how to react to it. But I hope that you know why he sailed here, and you know what to do with him. Otherwise, I don't know what it's all for, and why we survived all this time and so on. JJ, I don't want to scare you, but it seems that he is doing something with our water and it seems that something is not very good, so we have to come up with something urgently before it's too late. Otherwise, I don't even want to say what will happen if we don't do anything because I don't have any ideas and I only hope for you. But just look at what he's doing now. Do you see it? Yes, I see, and I don't like it as much as you do, but it seems that we can't do anything to him right now because he's pink and as you know, they're all pink villains. So I wouldn't approach him at all. Maybe he will do what he wants and leave, and then we won't have to fight with him or give ourselves something for this. Do you understand me? Do you have any ideas? Just look at what he's doing, it seems to me. Or is he now trying to poison our water? But why is he doing this? What is he trying to achieve with his actions? And in general, why did he choose us? We don't even live very well, unlike the same villagers, but for some reason he decided to come to us and I don't like what he's doing at all and what he's up to, do you know? No! But I see that he has glass. It already means something, but I still don't know how to connect it with the fact that he poisons our water. And it seems that we can't even stop him. We have no chance. Mikey, do something. Try to stop him. Don't let him put his glasses here because it's obviously not good. And I don't even want to know why he's doing it and what he's plotting against us. What a horror! No, not this! He's trying to climb our house. Do you even see it? And why didn't you stop him in any way? I don't understand. Do you even care about what's going on with our house? Because if we don't stop him now, then we won't be able to do it at all. 
and I hope you understand the seriousness of this situation. I don't want to live on the street just like you. Oh no, Mikey! He's climbing on our house, that is. I wanted to say that he's already climbed on our house. And I don't like what he's doing there at all. Do you even see what he's doing? How dare he? Hey, listen to me here. I'm giving you only one chance to get down into my yacht and sail away from here. Because I won't tell you this twice. I'm giving you one minute to think. Do you really think he'll listen to you? If so, then I do not know which of you is smarter than you or him. If that was sarcasm. But just look at what he did to our house, do you see it? It seems that now it's not safe for us to be outside at all. So let's go into the house and stay there. At least the water won't kill us there. Let's go in faster and close the door behind you. Wait, I want him to hear me because I told him to come down. But it seems he decided to ignore me. But I won't stand it, so come on, come down here. Or are you afraid? I think I understood. He decided to completely flood our house with this water. But I don't understand why he does it and why he does it. And what he's trying to achieve with it. Is this some kind of new kind of prank or not? JJ, run into the house faster. Stop talking to him. Haven't you realized yet that he won't talk to you? He didn't come here for this. He came here to destroy us, as you haven't realized yet. Let's just stay in the house and not show ourselves in his eyes. If he has them, of course. Okay, now this is not the most important thing we should worry about at the moment. Do you understand? No, Mikey, I'm not just going to leave it like that. I have to say it. Otherwise, who will our viewers consider me later? Hey, you blue oyster, come here. Come into our house if you can or can't you. Oh, I think I closed the passage for you. Now you won't be able to get into our house. What a shame. But the main thing is not to give up. Maybe you will be able to do it sometime. But not in this life. Do you understand? JJ, I'm asking you to calm down. We have a very difficult situation right now. And we're not up to your jokes right now. Have you not realized yet that he wants to kill us? And he's obviously stronger than you and me. And you're doing some nonsense. Just close all the windows and doors from him so that he doesn't even see us. Because I have one theory that you'll like. But I won't talk about it yet, in case he's eavesdropping. Okay, Mikey, that's all clear. But what are we going to do? How long are we going to be here? Or do you think that we can live here in this underwater mode? Because I think it's a very bad idea. So, you forget about this idea, and let's not talk such nonsense to me. And in general, you said that you have some kind of plan. So maybe you can already tell me what you came up with? Or will you be silent? Yes, I have a plan. Didn't you forget that we had potions that the witch gave us? And these potions will just help us. With them, we will not receive water damage, and we will be able to move faster underwater. So, let's take these potions, drink, and let's get out of here. We have to do something. I've already given you everything you need, and now you and I are going to clean up all this water from our house. Mikey, but I already like this. It would be better if you told me right away what your plan is. But no, as always, you decided to pull the intrigue until the last, but... Okay, you have a really good plan. Come on, let's go. Now we'll clean up all the water here, and then we'll see what this pink oyster will say to us. I think he won't like it very much. But I would look at his reaction, and what do you say? I knew you'd like my plan, but I haven't really figured out how to do it, so I wouldn't insist on it. And let's not get in my way to clean up the water. Okay, because it's not very convenient here anyway. Let's you clean up the water on the other side of the house, and I'll do it here. And in general, let's make bridges out of planks for us so that it would be more convenient for us to clean it all up. So don't break it yet. Yes, I understand you, but I have some bad news. It seems to me that this is a bad idea because I'm not very good at cleaning up this water here, so we have to figure something out before he comes back here. By the way, where did he go? He was here. Or did he get tired of us and he went to look for a new home? In order to fill a new house with water, hmm, it's all very strange. And we also don't know who it is. I know who it is, but I can't tell you. Let's let our viewers write to us in the comments what kind of fish or beast it is. Or is it some kind of creature at all? I do not know, but the guys know better than us. And I hope that you will not ignore our request, because we are very interested in who dared to do this to our domo. I didn't even think that this was possible, but as you can see, I was wrong. Mikey, it seems the effect of the potion is over, so we can't be there anymore. And in general, it's pointless. I told you that it's not possible to remove the water. There's too much of this water. Do you understand me? So we have to come up with some other option to do this. Otherwise, let's just put up and live in an underwater house. It sounds strange, but we will be the most original. What do you say? 
No, this is some kind of nonsense. Although if you think about it, then we can make a way out of the ground and then we will calmly go out and enter our house. But I don't like the view from the tank. Do you understand what I mean? I don't want to get up every morning and watch the water flow. I know that you will say that there is some aesthetics in this, but it's not for me at all. So we won't do it. Do you understand? Yes, I have already come up with something else. We will fight with him, so I have already taken all our supplies for a rainy day. We don't have a lot of them, if you remember, but I still found a couple of swords and wings. So we can take revenge on this fish or creature. In short, it doesn't matter who he is. The main thing is that he lives his last day on this planet. And I won't let him go far, by the way. Where is he at all? I think you've already answered your own question. Yes, he built it in a couple of minutes. And don't ask me how he did it, because I don't know at all, and I don't know what he's doing there, and what he's up to. But I hope you won't die there, because I won't go to him and don't even call me. I have a more important task now. I'll try to clean the water from our house, but I believe in you, okay? Mikey, I didn't expect this from you. We were able to clean up the water afterwards, but we have to deal with it. Until we kill him, nothing makes sense. So if I were you, I would listen to me and help all the same. Okay, do what you want. I won't force you to do anything. But I hope I won't die. Because then there won't be any point in you taking all the water out of our house now. Okay? JJ, I hear you. And I know that you will cope and not die there. And if you die, then you will be reborn on our bed. Do you understand me? So don't be afraid. I'll wait for you and everything will be fine. But I've changed my mind. I know what I'm going to do. I know where the witch lives, and maybe she can help us with this. So come on, grab his attention and don't let him go anywhere. And I'll go call the witch for now, okay? Okay, go wherever you want. Because I came up with a brilliant plan. There is a shark here. And as far as I know, a shark is a predator. And I know who the shark will hunt now. So, Pink Oyster, it's your time. And don't even think about running away from here. The shark has a very serious conversation with you. But first I have to make sure that this shark swims or somehow gets to this place and I will do it. So shark, do I have to wait for you for a long time? Or all you can do is hunt small fish? Or are you afraid of me? Or why are you moving so hesitantly behind me? Do you have any problems? Come on, hurry up. Or should I take you there on a trolley? I don't understand why it took so long. What's wrong with you? It seems to me that you are some kind of disabled shark. I don't see any other explanation for this. Come on quickly. There's lunch for you here. He's in the house. He's just waiting for you to eat it. So let's hurry up before he leaves you. Because then you'll stay hungry for a long time. Because I will catch all the fish in this case. And then you will have nothing to eat at all. So you either eat it now. Or you will simply starve to death in my lake. But I think the choice is obvious here. Here. Your victim lives here, so let's eat him before he runs away. He's very tasty, I'm sure of it. And I'm sure you'll really like it, so just try it and you won't regret it, okay? Come on, eat it, eat it completely so that nothing is left of it at all. I believe in you that you will succeed, so don't give up. And don't pretend that you don't want to tear it into small pieces. Look how scared he is. He understands that he has become your lunch, so don't even think about stopping. He's very tasty. But I think you've already realized it yourself by biting him several times, but that's not enough. Hey, look, it seems he's not as brave as he used to be. So what are you going to tell me now? To fight with a shark is not for you to fill other people's houses with water. It's not so simple here. Do you understand me or not? Oh, look, he's running away. It seems that he's definitely afraid of something. How pathetic he is. Come on, shark, catch up with him. Don't let him leave so that he doesn't do anything to anyone else, so that he doesn't pour water at home. Well, so you've been running. Now you'll know that it's better not to send your fin to us. And this will be a lesson for you. And I hope that you won't repeat your mistakes in your miserable life anymore. JJ, I brought a witch and she said she would help us. So I have great news. We'll handle this. Don't even worry. So now she'll give you a staff. Don't ask what kind of staff it is, okay? And we will use this to clean the water from our house. So we will live again as before. I missed it so much. And I think that now this will definitely not happen again. Are you happy about it? Of course I'm glad. You would know what I had to go through so that everything would be calm here. But I'll tell you later somehow. I think you like it or not. It doesn't matter anymore. But there was a paddle. Although I think you could have already figured out what I did here. So let's just do what we have to do. And let's restore our house to its former state. Are you ready? 
Of course I'm ready, or do you think I just called the witch here? No, I called her to help us, but she also said that she would help to cope with this monster, but as I understand that help is not needed. So let's clean up all the water ourselves because I'm already getting sick from this. It seems to me that I'm going to get seasick from this soon, and don't ask what the sea has to do with it, okay? Okay, let it be on your conscience. I'll pretend that I didn't hear anything, so be it, but don't bother me, okay? I'll just do what I have to do, and I'll do it for us and our house. To be honest, I'm even a little sorry for our house. It didn't do anything to anyone at all, but for some reason it was flooded with water. It's very strange, but the main thing is that we will fix everything now, and everything will be fine. Yes, it is. I'm glad that you understand this and accept the situation as it is. But I still don't understand how you yourself were able to drive this monster away. Are you that strong or something? Or did you ask for help how I did it? And in general, how did it happen? JJ, please answer me this, because it's very important to me. I think you understand it yourself, or will you be silent? Yes, guys. If you have watched this video up to this point, please like and subscribe to our channel. This is very important to us, and write your comment. Thank you for watching.